Hey guys, uh, I wanted to go over this game that I got for the Wii. Uh, I saw this um, around uh, Thanksgiving time when I was going through GameStop at the mall because I got bored of walking with all the girls and let, watching them shop. So uh, it was just natural for me to kind of depart and do my own thing. So I ended up going to GameStop in Newport News and um, I found on the very top shelf the video game version to the 80's classic Back to the Future. Now, this is unlike the Back to the Future movie that we all love. Well, it actually has a little bit from the movie. In fact, it has the dialogue, and it's actually spoken by Christopher Lloyd, who plays Doc Emmett Brown, and Michael J. Fox, who plays the leading role, Marty McFly. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. It's kind of neat to see uh, your favorite um, and well-known movie characters put into a video game format. <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Ah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? I know nothing about this game, but it didn't matter to me, because as soon as I saw that a game was made for it, and I'm a huge Michael J. Fox fan, Michael J. Fox is badass, y'all. I had to have it. I asked for it for Christmas, and that's what I got today. So I started playing it today. I've only played maybe about 40 minutes of it, and I like it so far. And it's great for anybody who likes role-playing games. Party? It's more so great for anybody who enjoys solving puzzles. During the scene in which Marty McFly is with Doc Emmett Brown at the mall, as Doc is showing Marty the time machine for the first time, something goes awry. Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc Emmett Brown suddenly disappears, because somehow he's wiped out from the past. I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! No longer alive in 1985. It's up to Marty McFly to figure out how the heck this has happened and to bring back Doc Brown. The problem is you have to figure out when he died. You have to go through the rigmarole of finding some clues to find out what year Doc Emmett Brown was last seen alive. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It turns out it's in 1931. The days of prohibition. World War One. The aftermath of the Great Depression. Gangsters galore. What the hell is that? Hey! What'd you do? And it's pretty cool, because even Biff shows up, and of course, no Back to the Future tale is a good tale without Biff, or at least somebody in his family, right? That hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! So you somehow have to obtain a book that has clues to uh, Doc's uh, whereabouts and and the mystery, or rather the solution to this problem that, that they found themselves in. And it's all discovered at an estate cell at Doc Emmett Brown's place. And of course, Biff is there to start all the trouble. Hey, Biff. Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Now, I can't tell you much about this game. Like I said before, I've only played about an hour of it. I like it because I enjoy the fact that Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd had some creative control on it. So there's still much to do. I think I'm going to be up all night. <laughs> this is going to be one of those games where I'm going to get addicted to because I've got to solve the mystery. It's too late now because I've already started it. I do have one complaint so far. Okay, <laughs> this is a little odd, but I find it funny. During the course of the beginning of the game, uh, as soon as you have access to the DeLorean time machine, after you find the shoe, you have to give it to Einie. You know, the dog, Einstein. You suddenly go back into the car 
to grab the shoe. Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. And for some weird reason, I mean, I don't know what's going on here at all. There's nothing during the game that would have caused this to happen. But Marty McFly loses his right eye. Seriously, his eye is missing. At first I thought he was... <laughs> he had one eye closed, as if something got into his eye. But seriously, he blinks, he moves his eyes left and right and up and down, and this one stays stationary. It's not even there. There's just a dark brown skin-colored hole there. And it's actually kind of freaky. I don't like it at all. So it seems somebody forgot to run this through the final, you know, quality assurance thing. I was afraid that it was going to happen during the entire rest of the game. To which, at that point, if it did, uh, I would probably have had to turn it, return it and got my money back. I wonder if Santa would have given me store credit. But of course, Marty McFly's eye does return as soon as you get into the inner city and you have to find Miss Strickland. Not Mr. Strickland, the principal, but his sister, Mrs. Strickland. Yes, I suspected hooligans. Get along now. Scat. I'm not going to go any further than that, because like I said, I don't have enough information to tell you. But anyway, if you're a Michael J. Fox fan, or if you just simply like Back to the Future, this is definitely a game you ought to check out. Maybe not for the best game quality, but at least for sentimental value. But anyway, if you guys happen to have it, let me know. I'm kind of curious to find out what you guys have found. Does the game get any harder? They have a little hint screen that you can you can go to to help figure out what you need to do. But it's basically a whole different Back to the Future movie, but it's in the form of a game. A role-playing game. Kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure game. It's not a great game, but heck, I like it. You probably will too. So that's all I gotta say about that. In the meantime, guys, take care. Happy travels.